Likewise. Today we begin to talk about color theory. Color theory is super important to understand in order to be an effective artist or designer. From photographers to makeup artists, we all use color theory as a base. Colors have their own special relationships and depending on the combination can make the other colors stand out. Let's get started with the basics. First, we start with the color wheel. It is rooted in the discoveries of Sir Isaac Newton in the 1600s. He is recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time. Newton's work using prisms established what we now call the visible spectrum. He believed that color should be notated just like music. A.H. Munsell also agreed with this and created the Munsell color system, categorizing colors into three different properties, color or hue, value, light or dark, and chroma, which is the saturation or intensity of a color. The color wheel has evolved over time, but today we use what's called the modern color wheel. Let's take a look at it. First, we start with the primary colors. You may have learned this in elementary or primary school, and these are the base colors, meaning no other colors make them up. They make all other colors. This color scheme is used primarily in children's programming, books, things that are geared towards smaller children. As we look at the color wheel, we can see that blue, yellow, and red are equal distance to each other on the wheel, with all the other colors in between. Here we have the monochromatic color scheme. This scheme uses one color primarily and uses it in different shades, lighter values, darker values, but still gives an overall feel of just one color in the whole composition. Now we move on to what's called the complementary color schemes. You may have heard of this before as it's used quite often in design. These are the colors directly opposite from each other on the color wheel. They intensify each other more next to each other than any other color. In these examples, you can see how the artists use the complementary color schemes. Green and red, yellow and purple, and blue and orange. Now let's take a look at the triadic color schemes. These are colors that sit equal distance apart to each other on the color wheel and include combinations like blue-green, red-violet, and yellow-orange. Here are some examples. Now we move on to a color scheme that's a bit tricky. It's split complementary, which is the same as complementary. However, you take the first base color, and instead of using a color opposite on the color wheel, you split it and use the other two adjacent colors. Here are some examples. Another very popular combination is what we call the analogous color scheme. You start by taking your base color and then adding two more colors that are directly next to it on the color wheel. You can think of these other colors as that original color's neighbors or friends. Here are some examples. Now we know a little bit more about how colors affect each other and their relationships to one another. We can start to apply this in our compositions. In our next video, we're going to explore color psychology and the effects they have on us as viewers. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when we release new videos. Thanks so much for watching.